Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Stabber Eyeball Slug Simple Game Enemy Monster. So let's have a look at this one. Now first things first, this looks absolutely amazing. I'm not going to lie, this is so well made. The quality of it is absolutely fantastic. And if we go into game view, just look how good this looks. It, it, I mean, I am absolutely blown away with how good this looks. And it will obviously fit in with some kind of horror game or survival horror game or just any type of game like that. It looks absolutely brilliant. And theoretically, we could go one step further and add a little bit of post-processing you know, to give a, a darker, more atmospheric look. That just looks absolutely brilliant. I, I'm not going to lie. From my point of view, I could see that being used in so many horror games. I mean, just look at the smoothness of the eye moving as well. That quality is absolutely brilliant. I really can't fault it. So quantity for all of this. Well, this is the demo scene. One of the demo scenes, I should say. Uh, but we have the animation, you know, the materials, the models, obviously, would expect the prefabs. There's the scenes, uh, the scripts, and textures. And there is a couple more here. And uh, a couple of extra little FBX there and a material for the showcase. But that doesn't matter too much. So extras, yeah, I'd say that's pretty decent because we've got some scripts that can control a couple of things, which I will show you uh, in just a moment. So, yeah. I would say this does have some extras. So let's go to the scenes and let's go to the example scene. Uh, I'm going to save that one. And if we press play, we can see from a different perspective these little creatures. And you can see there, we can move that around. And look at that. This is just absolutely fantastic. This is why sometimes I think the extras are just so worth it. So we can get to attack, if you will. There we go. See, this is what I'm talking about when I say I love an asset pack. They look absolutely fantastic. They're so useful. Uh, like I say, the different types of games that you could use this in are going to be mainly horror-based or maybe even first-person shooter-based or fantasy-based. There's so many different genres that this creature could cover. And I definitely think it is worth checking out at least just just to see the quality of this and even if you don't want this creature itself you may have something in here which is useful to you whether it's the animation whether it's the script whether it's positioning it could be absolutely anything at all and this i, I know i've said it over and over again but this looks absolutely fantastic if you could just imagine this in a real life uh, horror game it would fit in so well. It's so nice. Uh, the folders are all neatly laid out, as always. It's not just junk stuck in there. Demo scene, always really, really, really good to see. And the best thing about this so far is it is free. This asset is completely free, at least as of recording this video. You know, if you come across this video in a couple of years' time and it's a couple of dollars, I would say it's absolutely worth a couple of dollars. Absolutely. Especially if you really, really want uh, to say, Yep, th th this is going in my game. Uh, this person here commented two days ago, triple A quality work. And you know what? I agree with that comment. I agree that this is triple A because there are some triple A games out there which look worse than how this looks right now. And like I said with the other one, uh, just a little bit of post-processing sometimes can make the biggest difference because that now gives us the impression that it's gloomy, it's haunting, it's evil and grim just that little bit of post processing so yeah i absolutely love this asset and as you guys know i don't rate assets i either recommend them or i don't and yeah you've guessed it i'm absolutely recommending this asset to anybody whether you're new to unity whether you're you know an intermediate level or whether you're advanced level if you're making some kind of horror a survival horror fantasy game something like that get this asset. You need to get this asset and put it in your game. It is a brilliant asset. It looks fantastic. It's so customizable. There's so much maneuverability to this and it will fit in anywhere. Even if it's just one little enemy somewhere or a little prop somewhere, this is definitely worth going in that style of game. It looks absolutely brilliant. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, 
Let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you like the asset, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give the video a thumbs down. But tell me in the comments why you didn't like this asset. I really would be curious to know why you didn't like it, because I think this is one of those assets which is almost perfect. Um, yeah, and if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, uh, let me know. I would love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these videos. And finally, you know what I'm going to say. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with every video I upload on video game development. Always loads to see, always loads to learn, and always loads to do. Hopefully, I will see you around in another video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.